Hi everyone, my name is Lou and I work for Simis, which is the company that develops this uh, software here called Ashes. You might use Ashes in your wind turbine blade optimization course. So this video is just a brief introduction to, you know, to give you an idea of what Ashes is and what it does and how you could use it in your, uh, in your class. So yeah, if I jump straight in, um, Ashes is a finite element software and it's tailored to wind turbine simulations. So, you know, if I open this model, th this one is a ready-made model. If I open this model and I run a simulation with Ashes, you would be able to get information such as, you know, how much power am I getting from, uh, from this wind turbine right now? What is the, what are the loads, you know, what, what are the internal forces, like how much is this bending, for example, or, you know, how much is the top of the tower moving? Uh, all these questions are really important when you're designing a wind turbine or, or even a wind, wind, uh, a wind farm. And this is, this is the main use of, of software like, like Ashes. So it's before you're gonna build a wind turbine, you obviously want to run simulations to make sure that your, your uh, wind turbine is gonna behave as you expect it to behave. So for example, that is gonna resist, you know, a storm or very big waves, or, you know, that if, you've, if you have a new control system, so the control system is what, what uh, controls, for example, the rotation speeds, you know, and, and make sure that, that it doesn't speed in too fast, things like that. So you, you want to make sure that your control system works as it should, things like that. So you create a model, you know, software like Ashes, you run tons of simulations, you get your results out. And once you're happy with it, you can you can start building your wind turbine. Uh, so that's one use of Ashes for the industry. It's also quite useful in a, a research context. So if you're, again, if you're creating like a new, a new support structure, so a new type of tower, for example, or new blades or things like that. You test that in, in software like Ashes, you see how it how it behaves, you change some parameters to see to see you know, what, what that affects and then you you, you run your simulations. Um, so that's yeah that's kind of briefly what, what Ashes does. And yeah we we'll go in, in future videos we'll go in how you can use it in detail like what like how to how to use it yourselves for, for your class. Uh, but briefly before we finish this, so there's a few ways that you can get support if you if you're into any issues. We have some uh, some video tutorials. So if you come here, help, and we have Ashes on YouTube. So this should open the, our uh, YouTube channel, and there we have lots of tutorials with uh, yeah, all the things that you that you need to know to to be able to run Ashes. So I think it's yeah down here you have all the tutorials. Obviously, we have a we have a user manual and a theory manual as well that you can access here. User manual, theory manual. You can also press F1. So if I press F1, you can see there's a little question mark on the mouse now. And when I come here, I can press, I can click C, for example, and then I get all the information related to this part. And the last one, which is also quite important, is the our forum. So it's a Q&A forum here. So you can come here ask a question, we're usually quite quick uh, in, in, in answering them. So yeah, don't, don't hesitate to use this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if you, if you have any question, yeah, don't, don't hesitate to, to, to reach out. And yeah, good luck with, uh, with Ashes and, and with your class and see you around.